We are eighth standard students of Omeri English School, Williamwood. Now we are trying to demonstrate some of the experiments contained in our CBC Science textbook, Chapter 14, Chemical Effects of Electric Current, as a workshop. Our class is divided into four groups. All these groups are participating in this workshop. Each group will demonstrate all the experiments. I am Kami, leader of the first group. I am Nia Naushad, leader of the second group. I am Rizam, the leader of the third group. I am Hisham, leader of the fourth group. Hi students, are you ready? Yes sir. What is the aim of this experiment? To find electrolytes and non-electrolytes. What is electrolytes? Liquids that conduct electricity is called electrolytes. Liquids that don't conduct electricity are called non-electrolytes. Is the any additional purpose for this experiment? Yes, yes sir. What is it? To see electrolysis of water and electroplating. What are the instruments or substances used for this experiment? First instrument is the tester. This tester is used to check whether the current is flowing or not through a substance. Materials used for this experiment is distilled water, sugar solution, tap water, salt solution, copper sulfate solution, lime juice or lemon, tomato, potato, electrolysis of water, electroplate. Then begin your experiment. The tester is okay. No light. Distilled water does not conduct electricity. Therefore, it's non-electrolyte. Okay. No light. It does not conduct electricity. Therefore, sugar solution is also a non-electrolyte. Tap water is an electrolyte because it's conduct electricity. Salt solution is also an electrolyte. Therefore, it conducts electricity. Copper sulfate solution is an electrolyte because it's conduct electricity. Lemon conducts electricity. Tomato conducts electricity. Potato conducts electricity. Electrolysis of water. This is an experiment of electroplating. In this experiment, copper sulfate solution is taken as electrolyte. Mm. Copper is taken as anode. Oh. 5 rupees coin taken as cathode. 